online and on your smart speaker. Townsville's national award-winning builder, Kia Constructions. Hit News Briefing. Hi, it's Jessica Heatley with your local news briefing. The latest COVID modelling shows Townsville is still approaching its peak. Across the state today, almost 5,900 new cases were recorded and eight lives were lost, including two in aged care. The data also showing overall hospitalisations and cases are on the decline. While there's already been reports of COVID cases in local schools, Dr John Gerrard says it's too early to see any real change from the return to class. The numbers have been in decline over the last three weeks when we analysed these data over the last few days. So there will be some immunity among children going back to school, but we still expect more cases to be seen in schools. A crime scene has been declared in Kerwin after a woman was allegedly stabbed in the head at a suburban home this morning. Officers were called to the property just after six with reports a female had been stabbed by a man known to her. The woman was rushed to hospital and her injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. Police are currently searching for the male offender. And love them or loathe them, flying foxes are a protected species but can cause issues when they're too close to our homes. The state government is spending thousands in a bid to strike the right balance in our region. Close to $61,000 will be spent to move them from the Ingham Botanical Gardens and improve an alternative roosting spot in the Taito wetlands. <coughs> Taking a look at local sport and in the WNBL, Monique Billings is hoping to dominate the court again Saturday when Townsville plays Sydney for a third time. The American import amassed 25 points in the Fire's 20-point victory against the Flames last weekend. Billy praising her teammates post-game. This team was a bunch of selfless individuals. I'm so blessed to um, call them my teammates. They really just bring me alongside of them every single day. Get behind Mo and the girls by heading to the fire pit from 7.30pm. And to find out what's happening in Townsville this weekend, favourite the Locals Guide on the Listener app. Introducing the Staria Load, Hyundai's new commercial van that fits in everything. Now it even comes loaded with a $1,000 for a year holders. Test drive day. sunny and 33 in Townsville for the rest of today, down to 25 degrees tonight, tomorrow partly cloudy and 32 degrees. Our listener app is the home of radio, podcast, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now.